Good morning. Well, I have a big job in front of me today and I've already been outside and done a lot of planting. So Friday I had my flower haul and this morning I was able to plant the entire border and I'm gonna show you that soon because it turned out great. Um, but today, you know, my first daughter, Jenny, it had a baby in um, April. So her baby is a little over three months old right now. And she's going back to work in August. She's going, she's a teacher and she's going back to work full time and it'll be face to face so she won't be at home. And so she's going to be really busy and kind of, you know, just feeling her way through this new chapter in her life. And I wanted to help her by uh, making some freezer meals so on days when she really can't get to the dinner she'll she'll have something in the freezer I did this for her after the baby was born but I really didn't know what I was doing I just <laughs> just made a bunch of freezer meals based on some recipes that I found on the internet but I've done a little bit of research and I've studied up and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do today where I'm gonna make seven freezer meals in three hours So I purchased this book called Seriously Good Freezer Meals. And it's really great. It has a boatload of um, recipes. It has 150 recipes and they're all really easy. Um, but it also, and it has lo lots of things about tips and tricks about freezer meals, uh, making many freezer meals in a day, thawing and cooking, um, you know, how to use your freezer properly and what kitchen essentials you need. So it's really great. I've read all the all of the pre-work in it and I think I'm going to be much better off this time. So today what I'm doing is I'm going to do her plan which is seven seriously easy freezer meals in a day and it's supposed to take two to three hours. These are the meals that I'm going to cook. I'm going to be doing white bean chili, white bean chicken chili, herbs de Provence chicken, lemon tarragon chicken, teriyaki chicken, boneless barbecue pork ribs, Venezuelan steak, and French dip sandwiches. So the first thing you do when you're preparing seven freezer meals in three hours is you've got to get all the ingredients together. Let me show you. Here we go. Here's all the ingredients, all the spices, oils. Those cherries are actually just something I'm snacking on. <laughs> I got some rotisserie chickens. And then over here, we have all of the meats that I'm going to be using. There's lots of chicken, there's some pork ribs, there's um, flank steak, and a chuck roast. So. Those are all going to be part of the plan as well. The first thing then you do after gathering all of your ingredients is to uh, start to pre-prep. So I'm going to be cutting onions, cutting meat, uh, squeezing lemons, and making sure that I have all of the um, cutting and dicing done before I start putting things together. So I'm going to get started and I'm going to start timing too. I finished all the prep required, um, but I know that there's more coming. So this isn't the only pre-prep you do, but it's the stuff you can do in advance. So I've got the peppers, the onions, the lemon juice, got the beans drained, the chicken cubed, the chicken uh, flattened, and then the flank steak cut. So I'm now working on teriyaki chicken, which will look like this when it's cooked. And it starts with actually a rotisserie chicken. So that's gonna be easy. I wanted to mention the author of this book, which is Carrie Truman. Um, she does a really good job of talking about the freezer meals and getting you going. So I'll let you know the progress. All right, I finished my freezer preparations. Now, you might 
know, and if you don't, I like to keep a very tidy kitchen and I generally clean as I go. But let's take a look. Hmm, <laughs> there's no lids on anything. I would say this has been, I didn't clean as I go. <laughs> it has not been as smooth of an operation as I thought it might be. I'm gonna tell you all about it and show you my product. Well, it's day two of the freezer meal challenge and I wanna show you the fruits of my labor yesterday. But boy, did I labor. <laughs> You know, I did the super easy beginner plan for seven meals in two to three hours, seven freezer meals in two to three hours. And it took me much longer than two to three hours. Now, I did have big chunks of breaks in between all of that, so that counts for something, but it was more complicated than I expected. And I had a couple um, incidences, shall I say. One of them was hilarious. Let me tell you about it. I was, I had all of the um, items in a freezer bag. Let me show you that. So I had all of the heavy items for the recipe at the bottom of one of these gallon freezer sliders. And the freezer sliders look like this. And the reason they're called freezer sliders is because they, they actually have little pockets on the bottom where you can put things in and then they will stand up because they have like a little, yeah, like a little bottom like that. So I had chicken on the bottom, uh, three cans of beans, uh, and what else? And some vegetables some onions in the bottom of this. So I felt like the ballast was good and it was sitting well on the counter. Then I added um, the chicken broth. I think it was three cups of chicken broth. And I turned around to the other side of the counter to get the spices to put in, which I had prepared. And as I turned around to the other side of the counter, I hear something like, something dripping. <laughs> and then it starts like, rushing out, rushing, dripping, and I'm thinking, what is it? And I turn around, and the bag had just dripped, <laughs> literally dripping all over the floor. So all of the liquid that I had put in the bag was dripping out all over on the floor. I screamed. <laughs> My son in law said, are you okay? I said, yes, I'm okay. I righted the bag, put in a little more, um, a little more chicken broth and asked my husband to come in and clean up the mess on the floor. So it was kind of a community project. So that was only one of my big adventures. Uh, I would say the other thing that was a problem is when you want to work quickly and you're asked, being asked to measure, I only have one set of measuring cups and one set of, you know, uh, teaspoons. And so I was constantly being asked to use those and I couldn't find them and where were they and they were dirty and oh. So, I don't know, it took a while. I'm on my way to deliver to Jennifer and I hope she appreciates them. <laughs> Let's see. All right, we have Herbs de Provence chicken. Yes, Jenny, there's seven meals there. What do you think? So Herbs de Provence, uh, the foil got a little punctured. I kind of want to put something over that when you freeze it. Okay. Looks gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Then we have, and these labels are like printed and taped. Hey, Cora. <laughs> Venezuelan steak. Slow cooker, eight to nine hours. That looks really lovely. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we have 11 tarragon chicken with three separate packages in here. Chicken, yep. spice, or uh, sauce, and then lemons. Yep. Oh my god, these are like fancy. Fancy pants. Boneless barbecue pork ribs. 
slow cooker again. Those are the ones that said to have a separate packet for the sauce, but I didn't do that because okay. <laughs> I was out of my mind throwing things in bags. <laughs> They're cold, aren't They're they? Cold. I know. Uh, teriyaki chicken. That is. Does that have rice in it? Pre-cooked. So that you don't have to cook, but you would have to warm it up, of okay. course. These are heavy. These are very heavy. Are these soups? One of them is a soup. White bean chicken chili. Yep. My favorite. Love beans. Those are great northern beans. Oh, look, you can see the chicken on the bottom and the beans in the middle. This is the one that had the little trouble. <laughs> French dip sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Fifth, you're gonna love that. Yeah. yeah, it's a beautiful cut of meat that's, you know, you're gonna have to slow cook, but um, you also have to get the buns. I didn't bring the buns. That's but. fine. This yeah. is amazing. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you like it. <laughs>